All right, here's another example of Snell's Law. In this case, it says a ray of light strikes an unknown substance from air at an angle of 25 degrees. The light is refracted at an angle of 15 degrees. What is the index of refraction of the substance? So, again, my equation, well, first of all, it tells me at air, so index of refraction of air is 1.00, and my incident angle is 25 degrees. <coughs> And the light is refracted, so my angle of refraction is 15 degrees. What is the index of refraction of the substance? So it's looking for NR. So we have NI times the sine of theta i is equal to NR times the sine of theta r. That's the Snell's Law equation. Now if I'm solving for NR, then all I have to do is divide by the sine of theta r. And I do that on both sides. So that sine of theta cancels out over here. So ni equals, I'm sorry, nr equals equals ni times the sine of theta i divided by the sine of theta r. So, in i is 1 because it's in air. So I simply have the sine of 25 divided by the sine of 15 is in r. So, again, take my calculator and you need to make sure it's in degrees. We do the sine of 25 divided by the sine of 15 equals nr equals 1.63 and it's an index so there is no unit. So that's it. That's pretty much how simple it is. You're either solving for an index of refraction like we just did or you're solving for uh, theta like we did in example 1. So all of them are basically the same way. And that's it.